My two Berkshire pigs, Trini and Susanna, have lived in my back garden now for the last two months. But today, they're going to the abattoir. I've chosen this small family-run abattoir as it caters for the independent breeder. It's owned by John Andrews, who's been a slaughterman since he was 18. Morning. How are you well? Not too bad, thanks. Yeah. That's it. Cool. For the men in the abattoir, slitting the pig's throat is just the start of the process. Then they put Trini and Susanna in a scalding tank that removes hair and several layers of skin. The animal is shaved of any remaining hairs, then the pig is disemboweled. All right, so we're just coming down there. It's an incredibly fast, skilled process. no waste on a pig. This is a belly of pork. It's cheap and delicious. And look, it's got these wonderful layers of fat. It's packed with flavour. Score. Season. Olive oil. Garlic. Thyme. Season both sides and lay it on top of your garlic. Lifts the belly of pork off the tray and stops it from drying out. White wine, tin foil, hot oven, two hours. Look underneath there. Lovely. Gravy. Deglaze the tray with the white wine. Reduce. The smell off that is amazing. Because the garlic's been roasted slowly. And it's got that really nice, sweet flavour to it. Chicken stock. Reduce. We just smell that gravy now. You know damn well it's going to taste magical. Sieve. Push all that garlic through there. That. Fucking delicious. Pressed pork. Place another tray on top of that. Way down. And set it in the fridge. Chill, six hours. And look at that. I could take a slice and actually eat that cold. Cut. They're like little caramel slices, compact, full of flavour, and now ready for the oven. Hot oven, ten minutes. Look at those. Absolute beauties. And just look at the textures and that nice, crispy top. Rich, sumptuous, full of flavour, and absolutely delicious. Press belly of pork, done. 